Greetings and salutations, friends. We are going to pick up where we left off on Drillman in my No E Tanks, No Death Let's Play. In case you're new to this, um, I'm clearing the stages without dying and the boss um, without using E Tanks, as, as the name implies. I did have some trouble with this uh, this episode so far because I had a really nice smooth run and the sound didn't pick up, which happens. And I've kind of been having a little bit of trouble getting a good run in. That's that's life. I took a hit there. Maybe this one will be it. I'm gonna have to excuse my silence. I'm uh, really kind of trying to be careful here. I've had most of these stages practiced enough you know, I can narrate over them and play them pretty easily. But, considering the luck I've had tonight, we're going to play it safe and not blather as much. There we go. Now this is... it really requires some tight timing. Oh. It's really annoying, actually. Um, I can see these things being used later on to torment us. All in all, I have to say, Mega Man 4 is shaping up to be really great. And that was the wire. As you can see, you get to see Mega Man's chin. His head banging. Likes the music. Um, but yeah, Mega Man 4 is shaping up to be my favorite thus far. I actually like it more than 2. Far more than 3. I didn't really like 3 much. Um, you know, I try to be objective my reviews. Not easy to do. And I really should charge my Mega, bu mega Buster. Mega Buster. Yeah. My Mega Buster. Um, yeah, I try to be objective in my reviews, which isn't, you know, isn't easy to do, and I don't think anyone can be 100% objective, but, you know, I try to set my feelings aside a little bit when I do that. So, you know, even though I have my personal favorites, I do try to score things as fairly as possible. You know, if I if I gave my 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 feelings on my game through, I would have scored it much lower. But it wasn't a bad game. It was actually a pretty good game, so you know, not a good score. And of course, if I gave my feelings on, you know, if I went by just my, my gut feelings on Mega Man 1, I probably would have scored that a little higher. In fact, I did. And I rethought it and took it down a pound. But, you know, that's how it goes. So the weapons like the Skull Shield, or Skull Barrier, and the Dive Missile, are really useful here. I highly recommend using them to block those rocks and take out these buggers. In fact, I shouldn't have done that. He's just going to respawn. 
And there we go, we made that jump. We have a fair amount of life, we're looking good. And I got hit by the rock, but that's okay. And Drill Man is... he's kind of tough. And kind of easy, it's hard to explain. When he fires his drills at you, they're very hard to dodge. But you can you can get shots in on him, as we'll see. And he will spend a lot of time on the ground. And I have to count the time when he's going to come up. So I'll be quiet. You don't want to be standing there when he surfaces. And he is history. So, that's how you do him. I did take a hit on him, but that wasn't too bad at all. You have to be aggressive with him. He's a little bit like Skullman in that regard. So we get the drill bomb. <laughs> My game really kind of looks like a... Like a I don't know. It's really weird in that, that shot. I like the way Rush looks. That's a pretty good shot of him. Yeah, we got the drill bomb. And that's a really awesome weapon, and it's highly effective against Toad Man, who we're going to fight next. And I think I'm going to include Toad Man and Drill Man in this episode, since they've been going pretty fast. And Toad Man is a quick deal. His stage is a little tricky, but he's he's a pushover. Hopefully, we can uh, defeat Toad Man without a whole lot of trouble. I tend to make mistakes in his level, so we'll see how this goes. And there are a few enemies that are pretty merciless. Um, well, just one really. There's one situation that's it's pretty bad that you get into here. Um, it's not impossible. It's certainly tough. Um, as you can see, Dive Man, his weapon is really, really helpful here. And you do have to be careful when jumping, because there is some uh, wind, there's like a wind effect, so you can easily miss your jump. And, you know, look at that. That's pretty impressive, there's little splashes in the rain. There's Oh, excuse me, from his footsteps. That's a very nice detail in this game. And let's see, I don't know what we're facing next, I forgot. Uh, I thought we were coming up on the giant snail. I hope you guys are enjoying these uh, these videos. I've been putting a lot of work into them, if you can call it that, because I've been having a great time practicing these levels and you know, really learning this game. There's something very satisfying about it, and I think I'm going to try to do it with every game that I do a Let's Play of. Maybe not every game, I don't think I do it with an RPG. Because that would take, uh, <laughs> it'd take an eternity. A game like this, you can, you know, get fairly good at it in a short amount of time. I think I practiced this stage maybe 10, 15 times. It's not too bad. Of course, if I practice it a bit more, I could probably run it without even taking damage. Now, this is the bad situation I was talking about. I'm going to have to be very careful here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, I'm glad that's over. I never quite mastered that. Um, you know, as you see, I ate some damage there. There's a current from those streams. It can push you down. We'll get that. It's definitely worthwhile. It can push you down if you are jumping into the water that's falling down there. And it can push you left or right depending which stream you are facing. So, you have to be very careful with that. And, you know, you have to contend with the snails, bombs, and his eyes flying at you and all that cra craziness. Craniness, yes. It's a, it's a great word. That was my word of the day. My word of the day calendar. Um, Toad Man is laughably easy. You can either use the Mega Buster charged up on him to cancel his rain attack because he'll kind of gyrate and uh, fill the screen with rain. And it is pretty dangerous. Or you can use the drill weapon, which is what we're going to do, which cancels his attack. <laughs> this funny story, um, and I'll bore you a little bit before we fight him. A funny story is, uh, the last try did, of this, he did not jump, he did not move out of place, he just kept trying to do that rain attack, and I just, I obliterated him, I didn't even have to move, <laughs> it was, it was really funny, and hopefully we'll get lucky and he'll do that again, I don't think he will, but you never know, so let's see what happens, he's probably going to jump to the other side of the room, Yeah. And see, he keeps trying to do his attack. And we're drill bombing him. And he's dead. <laughs> Easiest boss in the game, what can I say? He's even. He isn't even that hard with the Mega Buster, although it is a challenge to charge it up in time to cancel his attack. You have to be perfect with it. Here's our. Rather high looking Mega Man. Um, I'm very lime green now. And, uh, pretty high looking Rush. I think they're the um, Shaggy and Scooby Doo of the robot world. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. That was our Toad Man Rod. And of course, next episode we will be taking one right now. So I haven't tried him yet. We'll see how he goes. I remember his stage being a little, a little tough, but that was a long time ago. So I'm not going to say much about. It. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And I will be back next time with more Mega Man 4. Until next time, good luck and happy gaming.